So, hello mga Revelogs. Uh, ngayon, mag-start na tayo mag-discuss doon sa ating Module 5 ng Business Finance and uh, titled Preparation of Budgets and Projected Financial Statements. Okay, so, ito na siya. Ayan. C, Module 5. So, topics under Module 5 are Okay, so you have the concept of budgeting for Lesson 1, for Lesson 2, types of budgeting, for Lesson 3, preparation of projected financial statement. Okay, so preliminary activities ulit, what I know. And that's the concept of budgeting. So, look for Uh, technical words. Any technical words that you already encountered in the previous lessons? As much as you can. I think hindi ko nalagyan ito sa answer key. So, pakisulat nyo na lang lahat na mahanap ninyo. Or you could also write it in your notebook. This one. And then, encircle the words na makikita ninyo. Related sa finance, of course. Next, what's new? So, how much of your allowance do you spend? Did you save money? Uh, maybe we should use noong wala pang pandemic. Since baka ngayon ay hindi tayo nabibigyan ni nanay at tatay. Or maybe kung nabibigyan, sige, yun ang ating ilagay dito. So, let's start with the concept of budgeting. It is a process or act of preparing financial budget. Uh, it is also a plan. Since uh, we already discussed module 4, yung plan, the planning process, but it is a plan that provide clear direction in attaining goals and objectives. So, tutulong si budgeting sa atin or sa isang kumpanya para ma-target nila yung mga nakaset nilang goals and objectives. Okay, plan, whether strategic or operating, is not in qualitative format, but must be expressed in Philippine Peso. Uh, we all, we're going to express this in quantity, so we're going to use uh, numbers in Philippine Peso, of course. We should always put the Philippine Peso sign in the transaction or every transaction that we're going to use or we're going to prepare. Especially in preparation of financial statements. Okay, another daw po. Medium to control the financial activities of the business. So, since you have your budget, that's for example, for different departments and divisions, so, kanya-kanya sila ng budget nila. Alam nila, or they have, or they identified in their monetary forms, so, kung magkano, sa division na to, ganito, isang million, for distribution, okay, for you, for this year, 2 million. So, yung mga budget na inalat sa kanila, gagamitin nila yon para ma-achieve nila yung mga target goals and objective na isinet para sa mga division or department nila. Okay, gagamitin nila yung mga monetary values na binigay sa kanila ng company in efficient and effective ways. Now, let's go to Benefits of budgeting. Ano ba yung mga makukuha nating benefits kay budgeting? So, number one, planning is facilitated. Okay, so let's say, for example, you plan to have or to reach at least 5 million sales this year. So, para ma-achieve ang 5 million sales, ayan, ano ang ating mga plano? Si production, kailangan gawin ito. So, dahil ito ang gagawin ni production, ang kakailanganin budget niya, ang na-forecast na magiging budget ni production, department ay ganito. Kay marketing naman, para ma-market ng maayos ang ating product and services. Ito ang budget in marketing. So, nakaplano. May planong isiniset. Financial coordination is established. Yes, that is also one. From finance department, 
Ikoko-coordinate ngayon ni production. Ito na yung mga nagastos namin. Which is naka-align naman dun sa na plano natin. Okay? And then si marketing, ganun din. Finance department, ito na yung aming mga nagawa sa marketing. Okay? So, meron silang coordination doon sa mga uh, financial activities and doon sa mga nagamit nilang mga financial resources. Okay? Doon na mapasok si number three, resources are properly allocated. So, using budgeting, na-allocate natin kung gaano ba ka laki gumastos o laki ang mga gastos ng ganitong department, ng ganitong division. So, mag-allocate tayo, may allocate natin para sa kanila yung dapat na monetary value na kanilang gamitin o kanilang magiging resources para ma-achieve yung task or yung goal or objective na dapat nilang ma-achieve. Next, control mechanism is enhanced. Okay? Makokontrol natin because you set a budget na dapat nilang ma-maximize or uh, magamit efficiently Da dahil doon, yung mechanism o yung control ng company doon sa mga resources, though we, ha we don't have, we have limited resources naman talaga. So, yung pag-control ng management doon sa mga resources, especially in terms of uh, finance, eh, kailangan medyo tight. So, dapat yung profitability may bumabalik da dahil meron ding, let's say, may mga in-invest, may galing sa financing activities, kailangan mayroong bumalik para sa company, which is kailangan ma-monitor and merong control mechanism. Okay, so next we have 